So today again we're going to have a double feature. I'll be starting and then Pante Ananda will be giving you some clarity on what to do after the retreat ends. So just so you know, all of you are aware, tomorrow, I don't know if you've told them, at 4.30, we're going to all go to Mahabodhi and we will do the last Dhamma talk over there. So the sutta I'm reading today is Majjhima Nikaya 22, Alagadupana Sutta. Alagadupama Sutta. Alagadupama. The simile of the snake. Thus have I heard, on one occasion, the Blessed One was living at Savati in Jetta's Grove, Anatha Pindika's Park. Now on that occasion, a pernicious view had arisen in a bhikkhu named Arita, formerly of the vulture killers. I wonder what kind of sect that would be, vulture killers. This view appeared thus, as I understand the Dhamma taught by the Blessed One, are those things... Okay. 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 Don't worry. <laughs> um, I was just thinking, uh, my dad, uh, after each dinner, he has this peppermint candy. I was like three years old and I saw him do that. And we use that and 
flow into our lives and uh, use our momentum that we gain here and uh, then we can actually start changing our lives. We actually, you know, vipassana, samatha vipassana, it, it's not only in meditation, <laughs> it's also, you know, in our interactions with each other, with your colleagues, your employees, your everybody, your friends, your family, your children, your daughter, your sister. Uh, and so, um, one of the things that is uh, super important and very amazing and here, uh, Delson's been doing a lot of uh, shameless plugs uh, of his books and talking about uh, the mind without craving and then I'll go with mine and uh, develop an open heart. Uh, that's the name of my book. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't have it here anyways because uh, I'm just a monk. And so where you need a mind without craving yeah. and an open heart. Yeah, they go together, like hand in hand, I think. Like, isn't it? Right? Like, what, what do you do with a mind without prayer? It's just an open heart. And that leads there too, so it's amazing. <laughs> and um, uh, dana sila bhavana, dana give. Give of your heart, give of your metta, that you actually even if you've gone much deeper on this retreat, actually you will see that you're much more calm and you have much more capacity for producing, generating metta and compassion for the people around you. And so be generous with that. Be, don't hesitate, you know. Remember everybody wants. There's this one law in the whole universe. I, I, I kind of came up with that. <laughs> one law in the whole universe is all living beings all want to be happy and we all want to be loved and so I, I haven't seen anything that could refute that so far uh, and even people that are mean especially people that are mean especially people that hurt us especially people we get offended with and uh, annoyed by and so, especially those people need your compassion even more. So, actually see that as an opportunity for you to be generous and to give more of your own compassion. And beautiful things happen uh, doing that, you will see. Uh, and one of the things that happen is that uh, your life might change also. So that's another interesting thing. Uh, livelihood, when we speak about why is livelihood or right livelihood, um, it's a process. It's, uh, I love how the Buddha says, it's anubhupa uh, sikkam. So this is a gradual path, a gradual training. It's changing, it's always evolving. We are developing in both states. And so, Life is bound to change, obviously. Now we talked a little bit about Anicca, quite a bit, actually. And um, but uh, we can actually change it for the better. And um, many, many things you will you will see. That's the vipassana, like the kind of the real down to earth vipassana here and now kind of thing is you will start to see that some of the things in your life create trouble for you uh, that you didn't see before. And that's great because now you'll see it and then you'll be able to see that, hey, I, there's actually a way out of this also. There is a liberation beyond this. Like, um, I don't know, maybe your husband talks to you and makes you upset or something. <laughs> uh, then you can see that actually the anger is only just, well, it's a choice, or uh, it's um, I'm trying to think of a better example because that one is not <laughs> But eating, for example, a lot of chocolate before you go to bed. <laughs> if that's your, your thing, I don't know. But, um, or something like that. Uh, and one of the things that you might notice 
I was saying that because you know, when I, for me it was a huge thing when my, in my life when I stopped eating at night. <laughs> it, it made me feel so much better and my meditation was just so much better. But it was a change and it was a bit strange at the beginning, but it did bring so much amazingness in my life. Um, but one of the things, and uh, this is kind of what I want to lightly touch upon tonight, and we've been slowly directing to that, um, is uh, the people that surround us and uh, how important that is. And so, in in this practice, you know, uh, and the Buddha's teaching, the Sangha is always huge. It's very important, and that doesn't mean just broken and Sangha, but that means people like all of you here. And that means people that have similar interests, Dhamma interest, because you'll see that when what you want to do is meditate more and go less to the movie theater and watch Netflix or something <laughs> and be like, oh, this is awesome. I just want to put out on meditation all my life and, you know, be surrounded by people that just want to do that with me <laughs> and support this. Then, then, yeah, like groups will change and circles will change and you will move always towards probably more and more people like that. So, and the Buddha always made a point that actually there is this, uh, this interaction between uh, Ananda and the Buddha. And Ananda said, it's Bhante, this surely must be half of the holy life, this wise companionship, good friendship. Wise company, and he says, Don't say that, Ananda. It is the whole of the path. The whole of the path. So that's how important it is. And this uh, the short sutta that we discussed, Paratu also, it's like the Amni Paradikaya number in the books of two. Um, very short sutta. How do we acquire wisdom? How, how does it come into our lives? I mean, that's an interesting. Process that how do you become wise? Well, Parato Goso, the voice of another and wise attention. And so, once again, and the Pali word for wise friendship is Kalyana Mitta. So, Kalyana Mittas are spiritual companions, spiritual friends, basically. And since I always kind of end, tend to end retreats on that kind of topic, um, I'm not sure why this, I, I have an, an index, I've been indexing the canon, and that's kind of, it's a bit of a job. <laughs> so it's a, like a tagging system that's like really uh, kind of uh, complete. And, um, and I'm like maybe 10% <laughs> in it. It's like, been working on like three years on it. Um, but there was, I don't know why I typed a white friendship, and uh, there's two suttas I completely forgot about, and uh, one of them was, was just like a jewel, and I just uh, translated it, and I thought I would just offer it to you tonight. Um, I call it the dawn of the path, so it's very short, so don't worry. <laughs> very short and simple. This is Atsavati. This monk's is the herald, the very first sign of the rising sun, that is, the breaking dawn. In the same way, monks, this is the herald. This is the very first sign of the awakened words in spoke path arising, that is, wise friendship. It is because of seeking and desiring wise friendship that the eighth spoke path will be developed and brought to maturity. And how does a monk or anybody who has wise friends develops and develops the eighth spoke path and brings it to maturity? Here, this one develops wise understanding, wise intention, wise speech, wise action, wise lifestyle wise awareness and wise collectiveness, a wise practice, wise awareness and wise collectiveness, which come from letting go, calming down, release, 
and culminating in surrender. These are four qualities that the Buddha talked about quite a lot. We wake up in sitta, we raga in sitta, niroda in sitta, vostaka parinami. So uh, sometimes he applied it to the seven supports of awakening or the eight folds of the path, basically. And uh, it's translated differently. I usually put uh, this is my own translation, and I like this because it's really close to the six R's. So um, it, it makes it really applicable, and you know each of these things, they they are right or they are wise because of these four qualities also because they are rooted in letting go, attaching. In everything that you will do in daily life, let go of love, send love, send compassion, and let go. Let go, hold down. And release, like, release it all, let it all go. And surrender in the Dhamma, basically. That doesn't mean become a doormat or anything, but uh, surrendering in the Dhamma, surrendering in faith in the Dhamma. So, on this, um, that's all I want to say about the Sutta. And, uh, before I end this, I would, I always, uh, I have this thing at the end of every retreat, I would like to ask all of you for your forgiveness, if I have done anything or said anything or acted in any way that was uh, hurtful or offensive, even if I never meant it, sometimes it does happen, so uh, please forgive me, and uh, also does it, I'm sure. Back online, yes. <laughs> but, uh, it feels like a you know, post cessation. <laughs> yes. oh, we're all good, guys. <laughs> the bill was paid. Okay. <laughs> so, and of course, thank you. Thank you for your practice. It's beautiful to see. So keep going, please. Uh, Any minutes? He's constant. Did everybody get a copy from the book? Number 40. 40. Yes, I do. Number 40. And if you're ever interested in uh, reading the translations, I was reading their own on the website. So, I'm going to bookmark <laughs> There's two books here. Open part. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm still working on part, uh, second edition. Open heart, but the first edition is definitely available <coughs> on the website for free. And, uh, there's copies in Canada, but it's kind of a stretch. So, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I, yeah, there's a pub and also another book in the Puja, uh, chanting book that's in your interest. So it's all free. So, yeah, it's uh, both Pali and with the English translation.
space and earth, made us and not us with mighty powers, share this merits of ours. We did all 